Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'll be working in Affinity Designer to create a knot shape based on symbols. Let's start with a simple rectangle as the base shape that will turn into a symbol. Try to place it in the center of the screen and then turn it into a symbol. So I go to View Studio Symbols and it'll bring up a separate panel called Symbols. Anything you have selected will turn into a symbol by pushing the Create button. That can be a group, a bitmap, or in this case just a simple shape. You can always add to it. The advantage of using Symbols is once you have one symbol and you edit one instance, all the other instances will be edited as well. So in this case, I make duplicates of my symbol, not the rectangle, but the symbol. In this case, I'm going with eight shapes. So in the transform panel, I put in the rotation as 360 degrees divided by eight. Next time I press Ctrl J, the next duplicate will be placed accordingly with the rotation added on. So even though we just see four here because they overlap, it's eight objects that make up the pattern. Going inside the symbol now, I can edit the rectangle. In this case, I'm just moving it and magically all other eight symbols are moved in the direction that is corresponding with their rotation. So I can do the eight star pattern easily by moving the rectangle and curving one now after converting it to curves. I give it that slightly rounded shape I can adjust the edges. The idea is to create a more folded look for those edges. So I try to make a smooth curve. On the other side of the rectangle, I replicate that curve trying to match it as good as possible to create a near invisible overlap. Once I add a gradient with the fill tool, the whole shape will become more visible. Working with symbols, it doesn't matter which of the symbols I'm editing. I changed from the bottom one to the top one to see the gradient more clearly. I duplicate the curved shape, darken it and move it a little bit to show at the bottom of our initial shape. One key element of the knotted design is that it is looping all the way. Now we have one shape that is clearly at the front. So we would want to put that behind the overlap on its right side. So in order to do that, I duplicate the two shapes that make up my pattern at the moment and paste them inside one of the other symbols. Once I place it inside the symbol, you can see that it overlaps all the symbols below. What we want to do is cut this out, so I set the layer blend mode to erase. That way it will cut out of the one shape. Problem is, erase goes through all layers underneath, so we need to limit it by grouping it with the initial two curves that make up the band. Once that's done, we have a looping pattern with an overlay where the lower symbol shines through thanks to the erase. I can now easily add more volume to it by adding shadows. I use a rectangle with the dark fill, set it to multiply and give it a transparent gradient. I place the shadow inside the main curve as a child object to a clipping mask, duplicate and rotate it for the other side and we have the base knotted pattern. Mm -hmm. 
I can also play with the color some more. The nice thing about symbols is that they don't have to have the same colors. As long as the shape is the same, the symbol is still connected. So what I can do by turning off the sync, give each of the bands a slightly different color. So let's take the next one and go from the orange to yellow to an orange to red gradient and change it accordingly. By applying the color overlay and the Gaussian blur to the group, I'm not changing the symbol, but those attributes apply to the group. So we have the finished design. By using a symbol, it's easy to adjust, get the corners right, and you can change the number of rectangles and the rotational angle in the beginning to get more or less lines to form your knotted pattern. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, let me know in the comments below what you like to see on this channel or on my blog, and I'll see you again soon.